Okay, so this is going to give you a look at editing pages in WordPress. So we've logged in to our website and we're at our dashboard. And what we want to do is click on write, uh, sorry, not write, manage pages. And what that's going to do is going to take us to a page that shows us all the pages that we've got on our website. And then all we need to do is click on a uh, the title of the page and we'll go to that editing uh, edit for that page. Now before we do that quickly, I just want to show you, here's a list of all the pages and I just have to click on one of these titles to go to the editing for that page. But just quickly over here we've got these, um, this is a particular plugin, it's an admin extended and what it does is it makes things a little bit faster, editing elements of our page without having to go to the actual full edit page. Uh, going from left to right with um, clicking that button will unpublish the page. So, in other words, it won't be visible on the website if you click on that and untick it. I'll just do that quickly. What it does is it just hides it. So now if I go to visit site, and I'll just open a link in a new tab. My site will load in the background. That's just right-clicking, by the way, in Firefox with a three-button mouse. And loading up the site here and that page will actually be uh, invisible now and uh, uh, yeah right it, well it is invisible already you can't see it from the front anyway but anyway it what will do will unpublish that page so I'll just tick that again and it'll republish that page okay so the next one is change the publication date if I tick that it will open up and I can change the actual date of the publication change the um, date of publication so the next one is the page title if I tick on that I can change the actual title of the page. Next one next to that is called Edit Page Slug. And now what that is, is the uh, the URL. So that's the URL that will uh, show up. It'll be effectiveclassywebsites.com slash products hyphen page. And that will be the URL. Now if I change that to just store, then the URL will, it will actually change. Change it. Got to be careful changing the URLs though. Um, WordPress does have an automatic redirect, which is kind of cool. And this button here uh, allows or disallows having comments um, on on that particular page. So if you wanted to turn comments on on a page that it's off, I just have to tick that there. And I'll tick that, turn it back off on that particular page. Okay, and then you can also change the order of the pages that run from left to right. Blog, About Me, Why WordPress, Contact Me. I can actually change the order of those pages by changing the numbers in here. Or I can tick on this and it'll change it to drag and drop, which is very handy. So if I want to edit the specifics and the text and whatever for a particular page, from here all I've got to do is click on the, let's say, the About Me page. And now that will take me to the full uh, to the HTML editor and the screen that we're used to seeing for writing pages and posts. Um, all right, so the visual editor is just loading up. So this basically represents the back end or the administration side of this page. Now I'll just open that up in another tab so we can actually see the front end of it. Uh, one useful thing here is that we can click on our full screen mode and that puts us in full screen mode, gives us a little bit more real estate, screen real estate that we can see, so we can see what's happening. So it's pretty straightforward. If I want to um, change a word, change that word there, I'll just highlight it and then go That. Let's say I want to make this here bold. Highlight it and click on the bold button. Um, so basically that gives us the ability to edit our page to some detail. We're not going to go into depth and to the image uploading or whatever. I just wanted to give you a look at how you can get in and how you can do some pretty basic sort of editing of pages.
I'll just quickly, this one here, I've used a heading three tag on that. And what that means is that it makes it actually quite a lot bolder. There's uh, three different levels of, of kind of the headers. Actually, there's four. You've got one, two, three, and four. Oh, it goes all the way down to six by the looks of it. Um, so if I want to make one of these, and it depends on the CSS, which is the styling for your website as to how those actually display. Bold is the most sort of, if I just click that and go bold, it'll make it bold. But if I want to make it a bit bigger and make it stand out a little bit more, maybe a heading three, that's usually the, it's the safest bet in terms of how it's going to display. And let's say I want to make that bold, but I also want to change the color. Tick on that A. And by the way, to get to this here, there's additional edit elements. I just have to tick this bar here. They call it the kitchen sink, which is the additional edit features. So I just have to tick on that to open it if it's not already open. So highlight this text. Click on the A button and select some a color that I might want to use, like the purple. And I think that adds a little bit to that, so I can I don't mind publishing that. I'll just uh, click the full screen and click Save over here. And what that's done now is it's saving those changes that I've just made to the page. Now I'll go to here, and this is the one that I loaded previously, so the changes don't show up in here. Okay, so that's the one previous. If I just wait a second and then I go view this page. And just briefly, the reason why I keep doing uh, right-clicking this and going open link in new tab is because, and again, obviously this is in Firefox, is because that's much better than going view this page, uh, having it reload on this page and then having to go back to keep editing this page. So you're much better off having this page stay open and opening up other tabs in Firefox and so that you can see the effect of what you've been doing. Just scroll on down. Okay, and there's the change color. Put center that, it'll look better. So this gives you a look at what it actually looks like on the actual site. And that's editing pages in its simplest form in WordPress 2.6.